Hey guys, it's your pal Tim here at Nerd Out Comics, and we're here to talk about all that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, shoot. I'm not wearing my mask. Glenn has told me that I must wear a mask whenever I'm in the store. Hold on, I'll be right back. Woo! That was a close one. I almost messed up and didn't wear my mask so everybody could, you know, be protected from this coronavirus. So, anyway, I got my mask on and I'm ready to talk about the new comic books coming out this July 22nd. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, we've got some Marvels, we've got some Independents, still no DCs, but I'm sure you guys will get over it because all of a sudden we're going to have a flood of DCs when they do come and you're just never going to get enough DC. I'm telling you, you know, this is very difficult to talk through. You know, maybe I'll just go ahead and take this off and I'll stick it over here on Boba Fett. Yeah, look at that. Look, it's Boba Trump. <laughs> Let's talk about the comic books that are coming out this week. Here we go, here we go. We've got a new one from Source Point Press. This one's called Backfire, new number one. This looks kind of cool, a little interesting. Uh, uh, superheroes, uh, soon to be a major, nope, not a major, but I can't. It just looks like it's funny. There you new from Source Point Press, number one, backfired. Then we've got a new one shot of Canto. Canto, I gotta get my glasses, let me get my glasses back on. We've got Canto and the Clockwork Fairies, new number one. It's just a single one shot, so it should be easy to go ahead and read through this and see where our buddy Canto is in his story. That's new from IDW. Then we've got the first issue of Chew. There you go. This one's been, um, uh, everybody has been expecting this one. This one's a little late. So we've got uh, John Lehman back with Dan, Dan Boltwood. Number one, Chew from Image. I think it's his daughter. I'm not sure. Maybe his sister? I think it's his daughter. I think it's his daughter. Chew number one from Image. Then we've got Lords of Empire, Emperor Hawkling from Marvel. Once again, uh, the barrage of Empire books coming from Marvel this week and next. There's a whole bunch of them coming out, so save your pennies if you're going to be on the, the Empire train. Ain't that right? Yeah, that's... Boba Trump saying, uh-huh, save your pennies. This one here is focusing on the Emperor Hulkling, the character of Hulkling written by Zdarsky, so you know you might really like this book. That's new, number one from Marvel. Then another new number one from Marvel. We've got uh, Empire X-Men, and I believe this is going to be a four-issue miniseries for the Empire. There we go. And that is for the X-Men's involvement. Looks like we've got magic, at least an angel in there. There you go. For the new X-Men book uh, related to the Empire titles. There's also Empire number three. And we've got Empire Avengers number one, which we are already sold out. All of our subs took them all. So sorry about that. Then we've got a new number one from Dynamite. One of my favorite pulp heroes. We've got Green Hornet. There you go. That's kind of cool. Yeah, look at that. Uh, Leandro Romero. That's kind of neat. Kind of a neat cover there. Yep, for Green Hornet. New number one from Dynamite. And then we've got the last issue of Middle West from Scotty Young and Jorge Corona. Uh, that's Middle West. There you go. The final issue, number 18. And it just feels like it's been uh, a lot longer than a year and a half, huh? Yeah, this, this one uh, has been a very uh, intricate read. So pick up your last issue of Middle West before it is gone. And then we've got this nice chunky book. I just wanted to say it was the last issue of Nancy in Hell. It's actually a one shot on one side and number four on the other side. So you're getting twice the book at the same cover price. Uh, this is the uh, issue four side. So for you finishing up your Nancy in Hell uh, uh, series, here's issue number four, and then of course the number one one shot is on the opposite side of the book. Just flip it around, you got a whole nother story. This is Nancy in Hell, uh, and that is from uh, Amigo. We love our friends at Amigo, there we go. And then we've got No Heroin, uh, yes, literally No Heroin, number one. Uh, interesting little read, looks like it's a vampire book. There you go, No Heroin, number one. This is also, I believe, a source point press book new number one from them and then we've got a fourth printing for all of you guys who missed out the first issue this is a beautiful red blood red cover of star wars rise of kylo ren look at the way that cover just kind of like catches all that blood redness nice rise of kylo ren star wars number one fourth printing and then we've got of course this really cool cover by adam kubert of Wolverine number three. Just wanted to show you that Wolverine is back on the shipping schedule. Finally, 
Uh, we're starting to get more Marvel books as they trickle in. Next week, I believe we've got X-Factor number one. Uh, Hellions just came out. So finally, we're starting to get some of our favorite mutants coming back to Marvel. This here is Wolverine number three. And to uh, close out the night, we've got a new number one from Scout Comics. This is from uh, Saif A. Ahmed and uh, Fabiana Mascolo. Uh, this is Yasmin, new number one. Looks kind of interesting. It looks like a young girl possibly in school, probably of Muslim descent. For those of you who are very diverse in your comic book reading, I suggest you pick up a issue of Scout Comics, new number one, Yasmin. And that's all we've got for you today. Uh, not a lot. There's a bunch of other stuff that's still on the rack. Bad reception. Canopus from Scout. Um, we've got uh, Decorum. Issue, another issue of Decorum finally came out. Um, we've got Monstrous, another issue of Monstrous. We've got Doc Afra number two. We got the new Vengeance of Vampirella. Um, we got Usagi Yojimbo and Transformers, as well as New Mutants and the second printing of Strange Academy number one, which looks kind of cool too. And that's all I've got to say, folks. Remember to like, share, and subscribe so everybody in the Tampa Bay area will know about all those cool comic books coming out right here at Nerd Out. Go ahead and say goodbye, uh, Boba Trump. So cool, <laughs> Boba Trump. <laughs> Going for the button, pow!